Since the first industrial revolution, successive cycles of technological transformation have been improving the lives and economic security of billions of people. It has also strained our environment to a point that can threaten not just the gains we have enjoyed, but our survival as a species. Radical change is required to ensure the future of our resource-intensive civilization. Fortunately, we have had multiple cycles of radical change in the last 270 years, and every one has resulted in economic growth and a rise in living standards. The first industrial revolution transformed an English economy based on agriculture and handicrafts into an economy based on large-scale industry and mechanized manufacturing. After decades of zero growth, the population of England doubled as millions moved from the countryside to rapidly growing cities to work in the new factories. The second industrial revolution introduced revolutionary new energy, transportation, and communication technologies. It started with the rapid spread of railroad and telegraph lines. It culminated with the electrification of industrial production, which made possible the modern assembly line and the introduction of the telephone, which launched the era of telecommunications. During these cycles of transformation, the horse was the prime mover of people and goods. To service industrial growth, the number of horses in the U.S. went from 4 million in 1840 to 24 million in 1900. Yet in the space of 50 years, this entire horse-centric world and all the businesses that supported it were completely erased thanks to the internal combustion engine. Business and government collaborated on completely re-engineering American society, culture, infrastructure, and business to get the maximal benefit of a fossil fuel-powered economy. The advent of the digital information age hyper-accelerated the cycles of transformational change. Thanks to the development of digital technology, we now have in our hands infinitely more powerful tools than the innovators of the last two centuries. As a result, we can now affect bigger changes in a much shorter time frame. Remember the world before smartphones, 24-7 connectivity, and social media? That was only 15 years ago. The transportation sector, which is responsible for almost a third of the greenhouse gases contributing to global warming, has been transformed by the success of the electric vehicle company Tesla. Elon Musk founded Tesla with the goal of accelerating the adoption of sustainable energy. In the process, Musk became the wealthiest man in the world, made his shareholders a boatload of money, and created more than 70,000 jobs. The market has given Tesla a higher valuation than the five biggest auto companies combined. Tesla, the green technology upstart, outperformed its established old technology, fossil-fueled rivals, by a staggering margin. Global automakers have now all pivoted to green EV technology, driven by the need to remain competitive and maximize shareholder value. And that's great news, because if the motivating force behind green energy is now greed rather than altruism, it will trigger positive change on the massive scale of previous cycles of transformation. What about all those hidden emissions in the EV supply chain? A recent study from the Yale School of the Environment found that the total indirect emissions from EVs are far lower than the indirect emissions from fossil fuel-powered vehicles. And if EVs aren't advanced enough for you, the first solar electric vehicles are now hitting the market. The green energy revolution has begun. Trillions will be invested globally in green technologies in the coming decades in every sphere of human activity. Just as government and business collaborated to completely re-engineer society in previous cycles of transformation, they will do so again to leverage the power of green energy technologies. Why? Because that's where the maximum potential for economic growth is. With the added benefit of ensuring our survival as a species. Reinventing everything and totally transforming our society and economy into something completely new is nothing new. We have been doing it every 50 years since the first industrial revolution. It is the key 
to the success of modern capitalism. In the last 300 years, no business or nation has survived being on the wrong side of a transformational technology wave. Don't be that guy who went all in on buggy whips when cars displaced horses. The green energy revolution is not just critical to our survival. It's the biggest business opportunity in human history.